All right, guys, we're here for some live dino duels. Obviously, it's not going to take much explanation. These are legacy duels, clearly. Tribute of the Doom is an all-star, along with Unexpected Die. Makes for a super quick OT gaze in this format. So hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing Mako going first. We are not a first-turn deck, but uh, what have you. Mythic Depths. Dinosaur Kingdom. Unexpected die is pretty good. Uh, we'll just do this. Even if we lose the monsters, okay. 1500 defense isn't really going to play over anything with Mythic Depths. I think he even has some 1700s who turn into 1900s. Uh, it'll, it'll stay over that though, but he is tributing. into Legendary Fisherman. We get a cool cutscene here for the Legacy Duels. I don't know if I'll make a Legendary Fisherman Legacy Duel. It does have some cool OTK potential, but I don't know how long Legacy Duels will actually last. There's a Daedalus. He attacks my poor Crawling Dragon. No more crawling for that lad. Unexpected die. It's actually sad because if we did put him face up, he would have survived. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. Because we got plenty more where that can. Oh, we can attack directly for lethal. Oh my goodness, my guy. You weren't thinking that through at all. Whoopsie daisy. Quick OTKs, that's what this deck does, even without the tributes a lot of the time. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Umbra. We're going first. We are not a first turn deck. We are a second turn OTK deck, however you want to look at it. But, uh, interesting hand. We can go like this. Too used to playing Rush Duel, I'm just like, let's throw it all on the field, let's go. But we'll actually just leave it like this. Hopefully that's enough to deter an OTK. He's doing the Fiends. It's a pretty good deck. I do want to make it. I don't think... I'll have to look at how long Legacy Duels will last. I don't think it's going to last quite that long. But we'll see. Kabazals. Kabazuls. We'll just say Kabazuls because it sounds better. But it doesn't look like that's how it's spelled. Boy's trying to think of how he gets over a 2k monster. Huge monster in the shape of a hippopotamus. The sneezing from this gigantic body is so fierce that people mistake it for a hurricane. So I guess that's why they're showing him sneezing. They had to explain that in the art. And that's only 1700 attack. So my guy. What do you got for me? There's one fiend. He needs two though. He's a deck that would benefit from unexpected die. Definitely, definitely. Where's it going with this? I don't think he knows what he's doing. This might just be a loner deck for him. Let's see. Yeah, not much of a turn. <sighs> Gonna be an easy clap. Look at how easy that clap is. Yep. That's uh, about the cusp of it, guys. This is literally the deck in a nutshell. I knew <laughs> after all the replays and pretty much after everything, this is just how the deck works. It's so quick and easy. Super easy claps. Uh, really, it's just Obelisk is the opposite of this. He's just pure defense. There's not really anything that can kill him. While this just rushes through virtually everyone. And we finish the duel that easy. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Mako going second. This is definitely a second turn deck. See what our boys got for us. I mean, it's obvious what he has for us by the character and Mystic Depths or Mythic Depths. Very good hand. Actually, a really good hand. So he's going to have a hard time 
uh, making a field we can't overcome, because this hand alone, doesn't matter what we draw, it's going to be enough to uh, do him in. Now he does have a card set, it could be a competent trap to stop us. Oh man. Actually no, because we had delay, huh? So uh, we'll go unexpected die. Yeah, he has something that can possibly kill Jurassic World, so we're gonna... Obviously, we're still gonna be able to get lethal out, no problem. But it's not the trap that's gonna stop us, so we've won the duel, essentially. We're gonna make him think... Ah, uh, no, we won't mess around, we'll just go with 2 out of King Rex. Show us, show us that mystical space typhoon, or whatever it is. Uh, we'll pop him first, huh? Pop him first... With this Aqua deck. Aqua has a pretty good deck too, they have monsters that can attack directly, so you really wanna... ...mess with their damage, but uh, advanced drive will be lethal either way. Obviously, over the two-headed King Rex, doesn't matter though, could've been either way. His back row does not matter as he goes for the instant scoop, so uh, we'll give him a nice anyway, just give people give people a nice regardless. Uh, yeah, this deck is so fast. It's so, so fast and just clean OTKs. I knew immediately which deck was gonna run it as soon as I saw the uh, card pool. It was just this and the other deck I'm gonna show. This and Obelisk, I should say. But uh, yeah, easy, easy claps, especially with Tribute being three of. It's just so fast, so, so fast. Probably even much faster than old school Duel Links. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.